David Barnson, come on in, please, because the president was saying some very important things there about the future of the economy. The next quarter, that's the third quarter of the year, he said it's going to be outstanding. And he said, this is his expression, it's going a lot higher. 4.1% second quarter, the president says it's going a lot higher in the third quarter. What do you make of that? Well, I think the key uh, in that little segment was what Larry Kudlow said at the end, 9 to 10% growth in business investment the first half of the year. If all of this 4.1 was just export driven from the soybean issue and so forth, you could argue this thing was going to fall off into future quarters, but it's not. The business investment leads to that further productivity. I agree with Larry and the president that that leads to wage growth and other things that really have a big impact throughout the whole economy. But the whole piece missing to GDP growth that gets back to trend line during those slow growth or no growth Obama years was business investment, CapEx. Mm. The tax reform bill is working. On that note, the president said that in the end, about $4 trillion will come back from overseas. It will come back to America. That's the kind of business investment that you're talking about, David, and which the president was talking about. He mentioned that Apple alone, Apple, the computer company, would bring back $230 billion. That's just one company bringing it back. And that was because of the tax cuts. That's the shot in the arm that you're talking about, right, David? It is. And, and of course, the use of that proceeds for, for stock buybacks and dividends and other things are tremendous for investors. But I really want to make the point that what they're doing with the capital is also leading to further business investment outside of financial markets through the quote unquote real economy that there is this reinvestment into machinery, into technology, into new hiring, and those things from repatriation and the additional monies they have from the lower tax rate. Those things are the shot in the arm, Stuart, absolutely. So having listened to what the president had to say, you think that that was a bullish speech on the economy? And for the markets <laughs> yeah. too, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that, that's, uh, my, then, that's uh, really my question, David. Okay, bullish for the economy, obviously, from what the man said and what was reported. But what about the market? Why isn't the, the market popping after that kind of news conference? Oh, well, you know this, Stuart. The market is a discounting mechanism, meaning it's always pricing in what it believes about the future. The market has been pricing in the entire month of July that this Q2 GDP print was going to be very good. So we have a big move up. We're a full 2,000 points now off of the lows back in March when I was sitting there next to you complaining about the trade war. So that's how much things have already been able to be priced in. And we have to keep it going. Business investment, CapEx, and profit growth. Always yeah. and forever profits. Maybe I'm picking a, a bone uh, or a fight here with the president. I am not, believe me. <laughs> uh, but he did say that on the issue of trade, David, We've been ripped off, ripped off. I think it is $800 billion by the Europeans, ripped off. A little over -egged. That, that's, that's not quite right, is it, David? No, it's not. And I understand the political language, and I understand his uh, uh, extraordinary talent with uh, using rhetoric to, to impact the folks he's trying to talk to. But you're talking to me as a finance and economics guy. And, of course, we're not being ripped off when we buy things and they deliver things. Okay, we gave them cash, they gave us product. That's not a rip-off. I am not getting ripped off by my barber when he, they cut my hair and I give them money. And yet I didn't trade anything with them. You see what I'm saying? So that's okay. I, I'm not trying to pick on the president either. I don't I have the same view that he does about the philosophy of trade deficits. Uh, a trade deficit dropping $50 billion is not the biggest thing happening economically. Trade deficits collapse during recessions. So the fact of the matter is that there was such great news on the trade side, and Liz referred to it a moment ago, the liquefied natural gas story. I've been talking to you about this for months. The EU, no one's reporting this except for, of course, Varney on Fox. The EU says that's where they want to start buying more from the U.S., liquefied natural gas. This is an energy growth story. The pipelines, our infrastructure are going to benefit. It's U.S. jobs. I think the president should focus on that because that's a real story. The other stuff, you, you know how I feel. Okay. I've got to wrap it up. David Bonson, thank you very much for joining us.